Hello, this is Juan Ontario from Period 4 talking about um, the, the music analysis. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is uh, what I hear in the music. The, by the way, the music is called Patacón Pisao. And so, what I mainly hear in the music is I hear a piano, I hear a guitar, I hear a trumpet, and I hear a saxophone. Also, another thing that I hear is a little bit of drums. A little bit of drums in the background. <clears throat> so, another question is, from when and where is the music? The music was made 12 years ago. It's a it's an old piece, but uh, I, I, kind, I like it a lot. And so, the song was originally made in Dominican Republic, which is um, where the composer is from. And that's where the composer usually makes his music and stuff, from what I had looked up. So, the composer's name is Johnny Ventura. He is, as I said before, Dominican. And he he makes merengue. Like, the music is, the type of music is merengue. And another question is, like, uh, how does, like, how does a thing, like, the artist make you feel? And I think he makes me, he makes me feel, like, excited in a type of way like i want to get up and start sorry and start um dancing and stuff like that and so um another question is if i like the piece the piece is it's very nice i like it a lot i like how in like some parts of the music he stops to talk with his co-singer and and stuff like that um the composer's intent was obvious. He was trying to get you on your feet as I said before and make you dance and and stuff like that. Um you uh you asked what words can can describe the the piece. I would say exciting because as I said as I've said before, um he wants to catch you up on your feet and make you start dancing like when i when i looked at the when i heard the piece i just had like just, i felt to get up and start dancing like i wanted to get up and start dancing like there was nothing else that i wanted to do in the moment when i was listening to the piece so another word would be intriguing because as i said before when he starts talking to his co like singer you're like oh my god like, what is he talking about like why did he like why is he doing this and why is he doing that like what are they talking about to each other? And um. And yes, the background music helps me, like helps enhance my understanding of of music, because in the background you you hear the. The not the background, but the background music, because there's nothing in the background. The background music, you hear, like the trumpet and the piano and stuff like that because sometimes they get a solo you know and when they get that solo you're like why did everybody else stop playing and and more and more things like that that's that's what helps me understand you wouldn't another question is if you need like music history like studying to like know um the music but no he gg tries his best to explain the music as it goes sorry he tries his best to explain the music as he goes like in the song so like he he's explaining what uh what's hap- like with his singing he's talking about things that happen so that's his that's his best way of explaining Another question is if like if I didn't know about the music, <clears throat> if I didn't know the music, like how it'd be different if I knew the music. So if I didn't know the music, which I kind of don't, I wouldn't know about the stops in music where they talk to each other. I wouldn't know. I would be like, why is he talking to him and not singing the song that he's supposed to be singing? And so when like... A difference is that if you knew the music, you would say, you would tell your friend, watch, he's going to start talking to him and they're going to start saying something about each other and they're going to start talking. And as I said before, if you didn't know the music, which I, as I said before, I don't, 
I wouldn't know about the little solos that they have. Because the little solos, like sometimes I hear the trumpet playing by itself, and then I hear the saxophone playing by itself, and then the piano and stuff like that. Like, I feel like every instrument has a solo, which makes it, like, better if you, if you like, didn't understand. So, another thing is, if, if you were like me, you didn't understand the piece, you wouldn't, like, you wouldn't know what is happening. You wouldn't understand. You would understand the music, but as far as you go, like, if you, like, as far as you go in the music, you would start understanding what is happening. And if you knew the music, you would already understand what is happening. You'd just be listening it to, you know, get up and groove. So this is the second part of the analysis. The secondary analysis and a, a question is that uh, what is the key signature in the music and the key signature in the music is a a flat um and no it does not change all right so another question is what is the melody and what is the counter melody and if the counter melody supports the the main melody and yes the the melody i would say is a singer because he's the one telling you um but like he's the one singing and telling you and you know the one making you get up on your feet and dance because you could have you can have a background like counter melody like all these other instruments but you wouldn't know what was happening unless you had a singer like getting you up on your feet and uh things like that and so the counter melody for me a counter melody is the second thing i hear the most other than the singer and for me, it would be the, the, the saxophone. It, it would also be between the saxophone and the trumpet, but I would go with the saxophone because that is what you hear the most. When you, when you listen to the piece, Um, you listen to, like, it starts off with a saxophone and then it goes into the trumpet. So when you're listening to the piece, if you listen to the piece, you should hear out for the saxophone that comes in the beginning. But they're both very loud they're very loud instruments played in the music but i would say the saxophone because it, it plays more in the music but other than that the saxophone doesn't play more i mean the trumpet doesn't play more in the music and the counter melody does support the singer the saxophone does support the singer the, the singer can be singing as high as possible and then the saxophone in the background could be like his low note. And when um, when he's singing, the saxophone can also boost up or enhance his, uh, like your understanding of the music with the trumpet and the saxophone in the background. And the singer has the harmony. Like another question is who has the harmony and um, is the counter melody supporting the harmony? And, are they harmonizing and stuff? And I would say that the singer has the harmony. Because the singer is what you're listening to. Like, as I said before, you can have the music and other things, but the singer is what you're listening to. That's mainly why you listen to the piece. Well, I don't know because some, like, most people listen for the, for the beat of the music, not, like, the singer. Because the singing could be bad, but the beat could be amazing. So, yeah. But yes, they are harmonizing the melody. They're doing it very well. And yes, it is also harmonizing the counter melody as the counter melody is harmonizing the melody. I don't know if that's explained. Um, one more thing I want like I want to talk about after. Actually, I want to explain some things after I talk about the last thing. So one, one thing I want to explain is the melody and the counter melody because in the music you mainly, as I said before, you mainly hear the singer. So the singer is what you're listening to, and you're you're listening to what he's telling you, and you're listening to to his co-singers. Like the co-singers usually have um parts where they sing, where they like echo the singer and stuff like that, and then the counter melody, which I would say is a saxophone is uh, really helping the music in a way. I mean, I wouldn't say the trumpet and the, uh, and, the, um, and the other instruments aren't helping, but I would say the saxophone is what's helping the most. That's why I would call it the counter melody. So another question there was, was is, um, is like, 
is the music compound or simple i would say it's compound and it makes the musicians play in a difficult way explain like um in a difficult way meaning that they don't like they have they have to play high and they have to play low and go high and it's um because the music they're uh, supporting the the musician a lot so in the music i would say that it is compound and that is my music analysis for the song called patacom peace out from johnny ventura